Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Smith, I'm a chiropractic physician and a certified nutrition specialist. Now, these days you hear a lot about vitamin D. It comes from the sun, it's in milk, it's good for bones, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of information out there and sometimes it can be confusing. So what I'd like to talk about today is the different types of vitamin D and what type is best. Now, the most common type of vitamin D that's prescribed and recommended by medical physicians is vitamin B D2. It's also known as ergocalciferol. It's considered a synthetic version of vitamin D because it's made by irradiating yeast, fungus, and plant matter. Vitamin D3 is the type of vitamin D that's created by your body when the UV radiation from the sun hits your skin. And it's also known as colcalciferol. So if you're looking on a supplement bottle, you want to look for colcalciferol. D3 is also the type of vitamin D that's found naturally in foods such as fatty fish, fish oil, eggs, and liver. It's considered the natural form of vitamin D. Now, both vitamin D2 and vitamin D3 are known as pro-hormones, meaning they are the building blocks of the active form of vitamin D, which actually acts as a hormone in your body, not a vitamin. Now, both of them are considered inactive, meaning they have absolutely no effect on the body until they're converted into the active form. Now, at one time, experts considered vitamin D2 and D3 equivalent and interchangeable, but that was based on research that was done decades ago. We know now that that's not true. See, we know, according to the latest research, we know that vitamin D3 is approximately 87% more potent in raising the vi and maintaining the vitamin D concentrations in your blood. Vitamin D3 also enables the body to store two to three times more vitamin D than does D2. So vitamin D is going to help you store more vitamin D. And regardless of which form you use, remember your body must convert it into a more active form. And we know that vitamin D3 is con uh, converted 500% faster than vitamin D2. So by all accounts, vitamin D3 is superior to vitamin D2. So research, recent research indicates that if you're taking a vitamin D supplement, you're better off taking vitamin D3 than the more commonly prescribed vitamin D2. Now vitamin D supplements usually come in capsules or liquid form. Both work well, but it's been my experience that a liquid vitamin D supplement often works better than a vitamin D that comes in capsules, simply because so many people have digestive issues that sometimes a cap capsules aren't digested very well, which affects your ability to absorb the vitamin D in the first place. Now, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully, you learned something useful from this presentation. If you think you know someone who um, might be able to benefit from this information, tag them in the comments section below, then like and share this video. If you have any questions or comments about vitamin D, again, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.